Hey guys, it's the Friction here, Tiger Tank 1 2. Uh, unfortunately, the microphone was not recording because I switched over to another PC again, uh, to my old PC, and now everything should be working fine. Um, but I already bought two deals, and I'm going to talk about them real quick. So, um, it's day seven, um, and there's one more day coming, day eight, that's tomorrow, 24th is going to be the end. I just wanted to say thank you for all the responses, all the comments and the general traffic I had on my channel. The last couple of days, it's been quite crazy that I've never had this many comments on my YouTube channel at like one period of time. Uh, I think it's really great. Um, I love hearing what you, you guys and girls have gotten out of uh, the daily deals. Um, and I just wanted to make these videos to see like what is the general perception of the daily deals of World Tanks because I always had the feeling that they were quite bad, uh, especially the last two years. They weren't very good deals, but it, it was maybe just my perception because I already own everything, right? But it turns out that um, I think in general, a lot of people were kind of unhappy with what they were offering. The deals were not like real deals, but they were much more on the level of being like some really trashy <laughs> um, way of selling a lot of crap um, for, you know, gold or credits or uh, or real life money at this time around i think it actually has gotten better but let's take a look at the deals i've already bought two one of them is the free one it's the magical crew member um which is actually i think a crew member um with the unicorn mask it looks really weird it looks like straight out of a horror movie or something like that but it's free so i'm gonna pick it up and i also bought the object 274a because i don't own this tank now i haven't bought any more premium tanks for about a year because i stopped buying things from wargaming because of the state of the game because the way that wargaming has treated certain community co uh, contributors um, the, the very naive or, or and childish way that Wargaming have conducted themselves. Uh, I wasn't really um, ready to support a game anymore that kind of changed a lot. And uh, in the end, I didn't want to purchase this tank, although it was really good. I've heard it was really good and I always wanted to try it out. But I thought, you know what, I'm not going to be buying it and I didn't buy it. But right now it's in sale and a tier 8 premium tank with a crew and with... 10 uh, with a 2d style as well uh, and 10 times 5 times xp for 7500 is really a good deal if you ask me um, because i think tier 8 tanks cost about 9 to 10 thousand gold so i'm saving a little bit and i already have the gold so i don't have to pay any real life money into it and which is a win-win for me i get a premium tank i don't have to pay anything for it because i already paid for the gold way 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 back and i'm not ready to spend any more money into this game unless there are some changes now we have the fretchen which is a, a 3d style for the rhm borsig now i like the borsig but i'm not ready to spend the remaining gold on a 3d style for a borsig because i do have the Borsig, but I don't play it often, so it's not really worth it for me. It looks cool, though, so I might... I don't know. I would have to really look at the skin to be sure if I want to buy it or not. I like 3D styles. Don't get me wrong, but I think their price are... The prices are usually way too steep. Um, 1875 could be okay. Um, moving on to the KB222 or 220-2. Um, you can buy this for real life money. Um, I don't want to buy anything. So this is a pass because I already own the tank. Then we have intensive training. Now the intensive training one is quite interesting because for 7.5 million credits, which is a lot of credits, that's one tier 10 tank and I think a tier seven vehicle at least together, you get the you get like free training manuals, which have 250,000 experience each. And basically, yeah, it's quite a lot of credits that you're spending for it. Like, that is a lot of credits. Um, per 100,000 experience, you pay 1 million credits on this vehicle. Or uh, not on this vehicle, but for um, this crew book. But 250,000 crew experience is a lot. So if you really need a trainer and you have the credits lying around, this might not be the worst deal because you cannot buy these, I think. You can only buy the ones for 100,000 and they cost about one or more than one million credits. So yeah, 
all in all, I think that this deal so far is the best one I've had, and it's probably the best deal I've ever gotten on World of Tanks, apart from the, um, the loot boxes. So I'm kind of happy, and um, yeah, I think I think it definitely has kind of bettered a little bit, but maybe that's just luck, and it's just pure RNG, like everything uh, with wargaming is. And uh, it could be total bullcrap on your side. So tell me, what did you get today? And I see you guys tomorrow. And uh, note tonight on the IS2 Shielded Review.